Hello friends, as we saw in the last video, irrational numbers also exist on the number line just like rational numbers. So we should be able to add and subtract irrational numbers. But how? We know in a number line, if we go right from any point on the number line, it increases. So going right from square root of 2 means value is increasing, means we are adding values to square root of 2. Going left from any point say square root of 5 means value is decreasing. We are subtracting something from square root of 5. That is the simplest approach. If we try to convert square root of 2 into decimal, it will go on and on endlessly. So if we add a whole number to it say 4 plus square root of 2, its decimal part would still go on and on endlessly. Suppose we add a decimal number to it say one point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus square root of 2. Still, in the sum, the decimal part will go on endlessly. What if we add an irrational number to it, like pi or square root of 7? Two numbers with decimal parts going on endlessly, their sum would also be irrational. Same way, if we try to subtract a whole number or a decimal from square root of 2 or square root of 3 or square or pi the subtraction would go on and on meaning we would get another non terminating non recurring decimal it means if q is a rational number and s is an irrational number q plus s will be irrational number q minus s will be an irrational number and s minus q will also be an irrational number let us take some examples. Square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Both are irrational numbers. Both are non-terminating and non-recurring decimals. If we try to add them, the addition would go on and on. So in short, we cannot add them. But if it is square root of 3 plus square root of 3, we can say it's 2 times square root of 3, which is 2 square root of 3. But that is also an irrational number. Let's take another example. 3 plus square root of 23 plus square root of 2 minus in the whole bracket square root of 23 plus 2 square root of 2. Is it ra rational or irrational? Let's find out. So as you can, let's open the bracket. After opening the bracket, we get 3 plus square root of 23 plus square root of 2 minus square root of 23 minus 2 square root of 2. Because the minus sign before the bracket, it will be applied to both square root of 23 and 2 square root of 2. Square root of 23 and minus square root of 23 gets cancelled and square root of 2 minus 2 times square root of 2 will be equal to minus square root of 2. It's just like doing x minus 2x which is equal to minus x. So final answer would be 3 minus square root of 2 and it's an irrational number. So in short, when a rational number participates with an irrational number in an addition or subtraction op operation, the outcome is an irrational number. For example, pi minus 2 is irrational, 3 minus square root of 2 is irrational, 2 plus square root of 3 is irrational. Sometimes we are given big arithmetic expression and told to find whether it is rational or not. Only if all the irrational number gets cancelled out because of opposite sign plus and minus, we may get a rational number. Otherwise, the answer will be irrational number. Let's take an example. 5 square root 2 plus 5 minus 2 square root 2 plus 9 minus 3 square root 2. To make it simple, think square root 2 as x. Means you cannot touch it. We don't know its value. You will add subtract the coefficients only. So 5x minus 2x minus 3x is equal to 0. So 5 square root 2 minus 2 square root 2 minus 3 square root 2 is also 0. And what is remaining? Plus 5 and plus 9 which is 14 which is a rational number. So in this case, we got a rational number because all the irrational numbers got cancelled. That's all for now. Bye-bye.